Public health experts are advising if you don't know the vaccination status of every person at your Thanksgiving gathering, you might want to keep your mask on when not eating or drinking. After Thanksgiving took a backseat to COVID last year, many American families are back to large gatherings for this year. If you're vaccinated and hopefully you'll be boosted too, and your family is, you can enjoy a typical Thanksgiving. The White House's chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says you can celebrate safely. Tens of millions are expected to travel over the next few days. Dr. Randy DiLorenzo, Syosset Hospital's medical director, has this advice. If you have the option of taking your own car, that's the safest, uh, as opposed to public transportation. If you're going to be going on planes, the, the same precautions are in effect. You're going to be wearing a mask with your nose covered. You want to keep your hands clean. And remember to clean surfaces with those sanitizing wipes. Then there's this sobering prediction from the Centers for Disease Control. Cases, hospitalizations, and deaths will likely rise in the coming weeks. Concerns of a holiday surge. The CDC director says the unvaccinated are driving that surge. Dr. DiLorenzo says know the infection rates in the areas you're traveling to and err on the side of caution. For people that are immunocompromised or on chemo, or um, have certain, certain type of illnesses that would predispose them to catching COVID, they certainly would want to be uh, masked when they're indoors. With more Americans getting together, at-home COVID test kits have been in high demand, giving some extra peace of mind before visitors sit down at the dinner table. People drawn to the ease and convenience of the kits, as well as their improved technology. The at-home tests have improved dramatically. Um, most people say they're about 85% or more accurate. They're kind of a simple test. You take the uh, a swab, put it in the nose, get some chemicals, and then uh, you read the reaction, either positive or negative. Now, those at-home test kits have a wide range in price from as low as $25 to over $100 per test. If they're in stock, you can find them at most pharmacies or online. In the newsroom, I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.